Rodgers, man. What's up, man? What's up with Aaron Rodgers, y'all? What did he do? Did he not? He said he had that fucking vaccine and didn't. Nigga did some shit out with it, did. He did some nigga shit. He said, man, nigga said, he never said I'm vaccinated. He said, I'm immunized. Which technically he isn't wrong because he has an immune system. Okay. (laughs) And the nigga said, he ain't tell him that he was. He say I'm not vaccinated, but for apparently the nigga, the nigga just been running around acting like he been vaccinated. They said the nigga done been at press conferences, no mask on. He just just mingling with the unvax, like it ain't it shit ain't about nothing. Meanwhile, my brother Kyrie Irving can't even practice. He can't even practice, let alone play. He can't even practice. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. This shit again. This, I mean, like, I ain't gonna Did he get the jump though? Huh? Did Kyrie get it? No. What, did he end up getting the vaccination? No. Nah, yeah. No. I, no. He, the, you know, they, I think he was trying to get a, uh, also trying to get a religious, um, the, the waiver. You know, you know, you can get waivers for these vaccinations and stuff. Yeah. But. A lot of people who've been applying that I've been hearing, even I'm sure with him as well, because he had converted to Islam uh, during the pandemic, or well, whenever he did. I can't really ever actually say when he converted, but I know during the pandemic it came out like he was he was showing more that he was Muslim outwardly, that he was Muslim, and uh, I, I you know I guess they probably like nah like we don't, we don't want you to do that, but I told I don't know if I if I said it on the episode, but. I mentioned it again, but he is he the new Mahmoud Abdul Raouf of the NBA. And every He's every cool. generation, every generation gonna get one. Every generation, especially because like basketball, and the difference is basketball, I, I, basketball and football are both racist, but I think basketball a little more racist because like niggas literally took over basketball. Like I, I literally was just talking uh my bro yesterday. It's like, bro, it's not really no on fire ass white boys like that. Like, not a lot of them. Like, all the great basketball players that's gonna be mentioned on TV, even for the last fucking damn near twenty years, the the, the goat has been the black guy, LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? Like, Nick, a, a white person ain't really been the face of the NBA since the logo. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so. You already know they they went through all these changes like they went through all the, the dress codes and shit like that dress code shit ain't had nothing to do with them white boys that was everything to do with them you know what I'm saying every time they do change a dress code or change something or you can't do this it'd be based on some shit that the niggas doing that's for sure you know what I'm saying so like we already we gonna deal with this but I, I'm just glad that we get. I mean, it, it's not like he's taking the biggest L. I'm pretty sure he's still re- receiving residuals from Uncle Drew, the movie. I'm pretty sure, you know, he got some money tied up. Like, he got to be smart, right? Like, like Kobe just cashed out from some money he put away like 10 years ago, and he not even here no more. 